it's so cool playing a badass nun who just, you know, walks around and 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 doesn't seem to have any cracks to her. But in this season, she is cracking. She's cracking and the, there's some light and some darkness sort of coming through. And I was really interested in playing with those shades with her. Kate. Hi, Hi how are you? I love Harriet. She keeps me on my toes every time <laughs> I watch the show. I trust her and then I don't trust her and then I trust her even more. Um, now we pick up with your character in a very different place than the season finale. What can you tell me about how your characters change from this season to last season? I think uh, the events that happen between seasons have caused Harriet to sort of question her role in The Hunters, but also question her role as a as a human being, really. I think we've, we're seeing her conscience pricked a little more. She seems to be softening and questioning her own motives a little more. And also I think she's on a pathway of finding her real authentic self since the revelations of season one. So so she's still on that on that train, I guess, that gets brought up in season one, uh, the, the kinder transport, but she's also um looking to get off at some point. And uh and and so we get a really, really complicated, delicious sister Harriet this season. She's she's not so much just badass nun walking around uh kind of setting fire to uh Nazis nether regions. She's actually right. um she's actually questioning her motives behind all of it. Something that I love that they set up in season one uh is that we get to find out who's on the other side of the phone. What can you tease about who she's working with? and uh, how they compare to the hunters themselves. Oh, the person who's on the other end of the phone uh, has, without giving too much away, has even more of a history with Harriet than the hunters do uh, and and possibly even more of a future than the hunters do. And so there's, uh, yes, that that's someone, it's someone that even Harriet I think is pretty terrified of. Right, uh, right. He's saying something. That's saying something. So Absolutely. yeah, the, yeah. You'll you'll find out who that is in season two. Talk to me. What did you want to bring to the role of Sister Harriet that wasn't on the page uh, from this season to last season? I guess I wanted to find those intricacies of her softening. You know, uh, there's. It's so cool playing a badass nun who just you know walks around and 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 doesn't seem to have any cracks to her. But in this season, she is cracking. She's cracking and the, there's some light and some darkness sort of coming through. And I was really interested in playing with those shades with her. Uh, she's still very funny. She's still very black and dark and and, and um, unpredictable, uh, but unpredictable in, in sort of softer ways as well right. this season. Can you talk a little bit about the dynamic between Harriet and Millie this season? This is the gorgeous thing that David Weil has done is it's like he it's like where all, all of his characters are a pack of cards and he's sort of placed them out and go, and gone what do we least expect? Who do we least expect to to have a connection between and uh and Millie and Sister Harriet form a very unlikely and unexpected connection. Uh, so I got to do a lot of a lot of uh, scenes exploring that that world with with the wonderful Jerrica Hinton. Well, look, Kate, amazing job on this show. Like I said, I love watching Sister Harriet. She keeps me on my toes. Fantastic <laughs> job. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. It's lovely to meet you. You too. Take care, Kate. <laughs>